I'm going to record this one. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wassalatu salam ala asrabil anbiya wal mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ajma'in. Amma ba'ad. Alhamdulillah. Today it will be our fifth meeting. Right? It is fifth meeting or sixth meeting? Hello? It is our fifth or our sixth meeting? Third meeting, I think. Okay, today it will be our fifth meeting or sixth meeting. Come on. Make a certain kind of answer, it's fifth, please. Fifth meeting. Okay, it is fifth, fifth meeting. meeting. Yeah, today it will be our fifth meeting. And then our fifth meeting here, it will be the last meeting before you guys can have your first ever quiz next week. Yeah, and then I'm really sorry because last week I told you guys if this week you are going to have the applied kind of teaching and learning, but unfortunately the policy from our faculty, yeah, it is not your guys' turn to do or to join the applied learning. Yeah, let's hope next week before the fasting month, before the Ramadan month, you guys are gonna have the uh, offline kind of quiz, yeah? And then the quiz, it will be consists of two books, yeah? All chapter that we already discussed, starting with the first chapter, second chapter, and then also the third chapter. The third chapter, it will be based on the first book only, it is from Meg Alistair, that we are going to discuss for today, yeah? And then not from Richard's book, yeah? Of the third chapter of Richard's book. Okay, is that clear enough, guys? Okay. And yeah. before we are going to learn new topic, the new topic here is about need analysis. I would like to get a review first from the previous meeting. We already discussed about environment analysis. Yeah, There are many things that you guys learn when we discuss about environment analysis in designing a curriculum. Come on, who will be the first at giving their review, their summary of our previous meeting, please, about environment analysis? Anyone would like to try? Umu Salsabila, Umu, come on. How are you today, Umu? I'm good, sir. Okay, come on. Try to give us your summary, please. Uh, last week, we discussed about first book and from environment analysis by McAllister and Nations. The first book is environment analysis. It involves looking at the factor that will have a strong influence on decision about course objective, what to include in the course, and how to teach and assess it. And the second book is about from syllabus design to curriculum development that new method we can use to deliver language to, to students, referring to the change and the approach of the syllabus designed for curriculum development in relation to search for new methods in order to meet the changing needs of learners. Okay, thank you, Umu. Next one, I'd like to ask Davina Azahara Putri. Hello, my dear Davina. Do you mind please it's, try to give us your review, your summary of our previous meeting? Uh, okay. Uh, as far as I remember about environment analysis, analysis uh, it's one of the important factor uh, in making a curriculum because it determines the objective. Determine the objective and then? And then? Uh, because it's determined the objective. I think it's um, sorry. Hmm? Yeah, that's enough. Oh, that's enough. Thank you. Next one, I'd like to ask Disha Olivia. Disha, come on, Disha. Come on, Disha. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, about the internal analysis. Um, environment analysis is an uh, important part of curriculum design because at its most basic level, it 
ensures that the course will be usable. I think that's all. Okay, thank you very much. Last one, I would like to ask Ameliana. Ameliana, come on. Yes, teacher. Uh, so, is the circumstance object or condition by which one is surrounded every factor or impact based on learning or teacher? The aim of this part of the curriculum design process is to find the situ situational factor that will strongly affect that course. That's now teacher. Okay, thank you very much. So you guys learn about environment analysis on our last meeting, and then you guys also learn about syllabus and then uh, curriculum development. Yeah, hopefully you guys gonna still remember because uh, if yeah if we are going to have the quiz and then it will be in an offline kind of quiz, so I'm gonna give you a chance to come in front of the class one by one if you can answer my question you can leave the class but if you cannot answer my question so you got to stand up all the way yeah, starting from the first participant or the first contender of the quiz till the last one okay let's hope next week it will be our turn from english department we're going to have the offline learning okay guys and what will be our next topic for today? Anyone already read the next chapter? Net analysis. Okay. Need analysis. Okay. Uh, our next topic here is about need analysis. Since we are going to do a process of analysis. And then the process of analysis is specifically in our needs, in our needs, in developing or in designing, in making, in creating a language curriculum for the students. First of all, you guys need to know here, what is it needs on a term of need analysis? Anyone can try to guess it, please? Need. Needs, come on, is a blah, 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 blah. Okay, look at that one. All of your eyes down. It seems like you're doing something on it. Okay, come on. What is it? Need, yeah. Need, according to you, is a? Uh? Needs. Yeah, it's needs. Like... What is it? Needs is needs. <laughs> It's, it's confused. <laughs> okay. Nits is nits. Okay, what is it? Yeah. Can't complain about that word. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would like to ask Riham. Nits, come on. Riham. Nits, what is it according to you? Nits. Uh, nits is what the student needs for the learning. So. Okay, needs yeah. is what student needs for learn. Thank you very much. That's enough. Back, Sevia Hairul Sahdan. Please, your turn. Come on, Sevia. Uh, based on my point of view, needs is like um the goals or the main content of the course. Mm -hmm. Like goals. if we learn about English language, then what you want to do with that language, what you needs about that language. I think it, it was like that, Mr. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now let's try it. your perspective from Hiram Nisa Tal Talia. Come on. Talia is not Talia. Talia. Uh, Talia, sorry. Okay, come on. Talia. Uh, so from my perspective, needs is something that uh, what we have to gain or what we have to obtain or what is necessary for us to learn in the process of so doing something in the future, something like that, in my opinion. Okay, that's a good one. Interesting perspective. Eh? What we obtain, who we're gonna gain, that's need according to Hiron Nisa. Anyone else would like to share their opinion about needs, please? Needs, come on. Needs, Julia Permata, Windy Cynthia, 
Needs. I think needs is like something required in the course, teaching and learning. Something required in the course, teaching and learning. Okay. Windy, Cynthia. Windy. Hello, Windy. Um, yeah. Uh, I think uh, this is a part of something humans desire. Mm -hmm. I think that. Okay, look at the answer. Yeah? Something a part of human desire. <laughs> okay, that's a textbook kind of answer. Next, Salma Nafisa. What's wrong with your face? Come on, Salma Nafisa. Do you mind, please? What is it needs according to your perspective, please? In my perspective, needs is what uh, the learners and the students want. Okay. That's all what the student and then the learners want. Andin Adivian. Come on, Andin. Andin. Needs. Anyone can hear her voice? I, I think she didn't realize her mic is broken. And then your mic is broken, my friend. Yeah, we can barely hear your voice. Okay, last opinion. I'm going to ask Bethany then. Come on, Bethany, please. Your opinion about needs. Needs. Bethany, Elmira, Destiara. Needs is something something hmm? it is um, something what is it something that you want to get or what is it hmm? it is something human nature human okay. needs something to uh -huh. Human nature. What is it? Human nature. So you are going to talk about the human desire. Everyone have something to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind. What's wrong with your connection? Yeah. Do you guys can hear Bethany clearly? No. Yeah. It's the no, same. No, it's that. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Maybe it's your connection. Maybe your. Elmira, Bethany, Tastiara. Okay, talking about needs, yeah, I'm gonna giving, I'm gonna start giving you guys a definition. Here it is, starting with the first clue. It is important. Yeah, needs. The first clue or the first hint here it is important. Yeah, and then next one, you guys may put also human. That will be the next clue. The first, the first, what is it? The first? What is it? The first, come on. What is it? The first that I mentioned? Hello? Needs. Uh, okay, needs. Needs is the first, what is it? It is human. What is it, the first word that I gave you guys, the first hint? Hmm? The first hint, come on. I forgot, sir. Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I just remember the second is human. Okay, second human. What was the first, Hyrenis of Alia? Sorry, sir, your word got cut off on that part, so I didn't really hear it. But now you can hear my voice clearly, right? Okay, anyone please, what is it the first, the hint that I mentioned? Disa Olivia, what is it the first? I don't remember, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, next, uh, Riham, what is it the first, Riham? What kind of the person? 
It is important. That's the first. The first clue, it is important. Now it is clear enough. The first, it is important. Second one, it is human. Yeah. And the next one, next one, it is desire. Okay, now that will be the hints, the clue. Anyone would like to arrange these three words into a proper definition of needs? Come on. Anyone, please? Uh, my I try. Okay, come on. How is of Uh, So, needs is something important for humans to fulfill their desire. At least that is what I can define from the hints. <laughs> okay, what is something that uh, they're going to kill their desire? How is of Alia? No, I <laughs> think so. <laughs> okay. Next, come on. Next. Anyone from the hymns, please? Elsa Sri Kurniati. I haven't mentioned your name. Please. Nips. It is important. And then it is human. And then it is, what is it? The last. Come on. It is desire. Come on. Elsa Sri Kurniati. Elsa? Uh, I think uh, needs is um, what, what humans want to achieve something important. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Anyone else would like to try, please? Oh, can I miss? Okay, okay come on, Salma. Salma. Let's is what um let is something that important for human to make a desire. To make a desire, thank you. So desire according to you here it is a noun, adjective, or is verb. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. All good. No wrong kind of answer. All correct kind of answer. Bonita. Bonita, can you hear my voice? Bonita? Yes, sir. Okay, come on, my dear. Okay, you may talk slowly. What is it needs? There's only three hints. Come on. I, I think it is something important for humans to fulfill their desires as humans. Okay. Something important for human to fulfill their desire as a humans. Okay, two humans on it. Thank you very much, my dear. Next, Nilan. Nilan, hello. Yes, sir. Okay, come on. Your turn, please. Nilan. Um, a desire that important for humans. A desire that important for humans. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for giving all of your definition about needs. Yeah? Talking about the definition of needs or giving a description of needs, you may use anything. Yeah? As long as it is consists of humans, as long as it is consists of it is important, and then as long as it is consists of desire. Yeah? And then... Needs itself here is a basic, yeah, a basic kind of human thing. Yeah, a basic kind of human thing. What I mean by a basic kind of human thing, all of us yeah, consists, consists with our need on it. Yeah, and then our need here, our need here, we are going to, uh, we are going to get our need based on the desire that we are going to build in our life. And then that's why needs is important. Okay? And then one more time, giving the definition, you may put any kind of uh, additional sentence, additional word on it, that should be okay. As long as you guys understand, need here is your basic thing as a human. Yeah, you need to, for example, what is it? What is it? 
you need to do an interactions with your social what is it, with with your social social community yeah and then what is it that you need also hmm? what is it that you need also the, the other example why needs is important hello Dia, come on. What is it? The other example, Dia. Can you give the example? Why the needs here is important, and then why it is a basic thing of human, and then why here it is a desire. Uh, it's every every human has needs for yeah. their life, mm -hmm. and and. That's why needs is important. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, like what Riham told us, needs is needs. Okay. Thank you very much. And then now let's try to open the third chapter, guys. The third chapter, and then this will be about need analysis. And then we are, we are going to use only this book. Uh, uh, this book here is from McAllister. It is from Richard for this book. Callister. Okay, it is from McAllister. Yeah. Uh, since chapter three here is a need analysis, all of the chapter yeah, from McAllister here mentioning the same kind of the same kind of what is it? The same kind of step on it. First of all, uh, McAllister here drawing a circle. There are many circle on it. Yeah, we got outer circle. And then we got three, yeah, three inner circle. And then we got also, yeah, we got also the deep circle on it. If you guys still remember, what will be the right circle here? Yeah. This one. This one here is environment, right? And then environment here is equal with what we are going to discuss today about need analysis. Yeah, because on several kind of textbooks, several uh, experts mention, several linguists mention that the uh, environment consists also with need analysis on it, not in a separate way like this one, like McAllister mentioned it. Yeah, it is equal like this one in a separate way. Yeah, the aim of this part of the curriculum design process is to discover what needs to be learned, yeah? So what is it that you are going to learn? Yeah, your target, uh, your, what is it? Your expectations. And then what the learners want to learn, yeah? And what the learner want to learn, it is refer also to the needs, yeah? As the basic things of the human, like what we discussed uh, before we are going to start this, Chapter three, yeah. What the learner want to learn, refer also with the learning materials, yeah. Refer also with the media that you're going to use as a teacher, strategy approach, and then every single aspect of a learning process, yeah. So you guys can see this one of need analysis, yeah. What needs to be learned, and then what the learners want to learn. Anyone else have their own comprehensions in understanding what needs to be learned and then what the learners want to learn? Please, anyone? Anyone, come on. Hello, anyone? Nashwa Ayu Pandiri? Salma, Salma, it's not like you're turning on your audio. Come on. Um, the analysis is make sure that the course will contain relevant and useful things for learn. Is it clear enough for I mean, honesty? My point here is what needs to be learned and what the learners mm -hmm. want to learn. Two terms. Come on. What is it according to you? Discovering what needs to be learned. And then second one, what the learners want to learn. Come on. The necessities 
Yeah, see you guys. Okay, thank you very much. Anyone would like to try? Elmira Bethany, please. Um, maybe the in the purpose of learner. Okay, the learning purpose that was um, the need to be learned to... or the second one. This one, the first term or the second term. The second term. Second term, it is the purpose. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about the first? What about the first one? Discover what needs to be learned. What is it? What does it mean? Discover what needs to be learned. No idea. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. So to discover what needs to be learned, meaning here yeah, also to diagnose what level of your prior knowledge. Yeah? What level of your previous understanding? What level of your comprehensions? Yeah? So that's what does it mean by discovering what needs to be learned. A diagnostic process. Yeah? Okay, a diagnostic process before you are going to get the course or the language program in designing a language curriculum. And the next one, what the learners want to learn, uh, you can easily claim, okay, this one here is the learning material that you're going to provide. Yeah, the media that you're going to use. Yeah, so the student can learn comprehensively every single topic that you're going to teach them. Is that clear enough, guys? Okay. Okay, next. Okay, what is it, Riham? Sir, can you repeat, sir, the, 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 what is it, definition of what needs to be learned? Okay, I... uh, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Discover what needs to be learned here. Yeah, it is a process of diagnose, yeah? A diagnostic process based on, uh, based on student prior knowledge, based on student a uh, previous comprehension about a certain things in language. Yeah? So we can be an aware kind of teacher. Yeah? So these students, Riham, your level of language skill here is, for example, D. Yeah? So we are going to give you, so we are going to create a course or language program that's going to make it connected with C, yeah? B, and then A. Okay, that's what does it mean by discovering what needs to be learned. You, you need here, it is to, Im to improve or to increase your language skill, right? So we have to know your basic first. Yeah, we have to know your level first. Yeah, okay. And then the second one, is that clear enough for you? What the learners want to learn? It's, it's clear, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and then now let's try to continue here. Need analysis is directed mainly at the goals and then content of a course. Yeah, we can see here the main focus: conducting, doing, or making need analysis. Yeah, you're going to analyze. Yeah, you're going to analyze your human thing, your desired thing. What is it? Your important thing. Yeah. Here it is at the goals and content of a course. Content of a course here it is means with the language program. Okay, one more time. Goals and then contents. Goals here it is the learning achievement. The content, it will be what is it that you're going to deliver? A set of teaching process, set of teaching and learning process for your student. Starting with what is it? Starting with your lesson plan, and then also uh, with your guys' learning media, and then what kind of the uh, what kind of the learning material that you use, what kind of the strategy that you use, how did you conduct the assessment process? Yeah, that's referred to the content. Yeah, to the content of your uh, teaching and learning. Yeah, and then. It examines what the learners know already and then what they need to know. Okay. 
what the learners know already here, we can find out if we make a diagnostic test, like what, what, what I explained it to you, Rihan, yeah? a diagnostic test for our students. And then if you try to visit a doctor or any kind of medical um, institutions, yeah, a hospital, a clinic, or any kind of things, uh, you have to do what we call by a diagnostic one first. So the doctor, so the nurse can give you a relevant kind of, what is it? A relevant kind of medicine, a relevant kind of treatment based on the diagnostic test. And then it is the same also with this. Okay. And the next one, need analysis, make sure that the course will contain relevant and useful things to learn. So it is not only the repetitions. Yeah? So we have to consider the course and the content of it, it is relevant. It is based on what you need. It is based on what you want. It is based on your learning style. And that it is useful to learn. Yeah? Every single of you here, Sevia, Devi Naswa, Windy Cynthia, almost Al Sabila, you got your own kind of aims. You got your own kind of goals yeah, in learning a language, right? Sevia, maybe, okay, I'm learning in this language here so I can watch uh, a Western kind of movies without looking at the subtitle. Yeah? Umu here may be her reason to, her aims, her goals here to learn a language so uh, she can uh, meet with some foreigner yeah? and then blah, blah, blah. Yeah? Every single of you, you guys have a different kind of uh, goals, different kind of useful thing when learning a language, okay? And then next one, good need analysis involve asking the right questions and then finding the answers in the most effective way. Yeah? So it is not only a random need analysis. Yeah? So not only, okay, I'm going to do a need analysis on this class, on this language program, and this course here, and then you are making up all the things. Yeah? Good need analysis involves asking the right questions. You gotta make a list of questions. You gotta select all the group of the questions and then which one they're gonna fit the best. Yeah, based on the students' need, based on the language program needs. And then on chapter three here, we have several main focus. First, the various focuses of need analysis. And then second one, it will be discovering needs. Yeah? And then on that one, we have <clears throat> evaluating need analysis. So you are not making only need analysis, but you have to be able also to do an evaluation based on the need analysis process. Based on the result of need analysis, you have to evaluate that. Yeah? That's why it is not a random need analysis, but you have a procedure, you have a step of it, and yeah? you have a scientific process on it. Yeah? And then after evaluating need analysis, and then last one here is issues in need analysis. What are the issues? Yeah, when we talk about need analysis, and then uh, this talks, we are not going to discuss it. And then also the same with case study, we are not going to discuss it. And then now let's go back with the first focus of this third chapter of Make Callister book, the various focuses of need analysis. The aim of this section of the chapter, the third chapter here is to look at the range of information that can be gathered in need analysis. Yeah, one more time. The key point here, the range of information that can be gathered in need analysis. What are those elements? What are those factors yeah, that we can gather yeah, in conducting or in making need analysis? Now let's try to have a look at here the opinion or the <clears throat> or the explanation from Hutchinson and then Waters, yeah, 1987. Divide needs into target needs. Yeah. 
So the first year is target needs, what the learner needs to do in the target situations. And the next one, learning needs, what the learner needs to do in order to learn. Anyone would like to share their opinion, please? Target needs, what is it? And then learning, learning needs, what is it? Come on. Dia, Dia. Dia. Yes, sir. Okay, come on. What is it according to you, target need? Target. Yeah, target needs. What the learner needs to do in the target situations. What is it? Uh, target situation. Um, uh, target situation. It's like uh, the situation of uh, learning or teaching is like. What is it? Uh, based on curriculum or syllabus. Okay. Okay. So, so target I needs. I understand yet, actually. Okay. Target need, target needs, and then learning needs. Yet it is the same with what is it? The learner needs. Okay. It is similar. Yeah, and then it is the same what learner needs. The difference here is only, yeah, only on the target situations, and then second one in order to learn. Come on. It is the same, yeah. What is it the learner needs to do? The difference only on target situation, and then in order to learn. Falia, come on, Falia. Talia? Yeah. 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 Target situation is like what the learner needs to achieve in the class. But uh, uh, like what kind of thing they need to learn in the class, what kind of thing they will be that will be necessary in the class, like the situation of learning to uh, achieve that. Uh, and in order to learn, I think in order to learn is something like the medium or what does the learner uh the media that used to learn i think that is what i can comprehend in this statement thank you thank you uh next my dear sabia hero sahadan come on my dear please what is it target. about the about the target needs and learning needs sir yep okay I think the target needs is like the goals of the learners want to be. Okay, like, the goals. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and the learning is it's what they want uh, to learn. It, in, in the example, like if a person or a learner is want to learn about um, grammatical or something, so they have to they have to arrange the goals. What they want to, they want to, uh, the learners want to be good at grammar so for the learning needs so see uh, they have to search about the grammar things like what is in the grammar uh needs uh, what what is we need for learning grammar i think it was like that thank you very much interesting Riham, come on your turn please Riham. uh for me sir yep. uh, my practice is the target needs is when the, the student learn something specific in material but the the learning needs when the student is freely learn what they want but still relate to the the materials of that that day or that learning time maybe that sir okay thank you uh bonita your turn, please, Bonita. Um, well, I think, I think, sorry, I think the book's already very, like, transparent about this. It says target needs is what the learner needs to do in the target situation. So it's basically, it's obviously, it's, <laughs> it's what it is. And learning needs is what the learner needs to do in order to learn. It's basically all 
like it all focuses on what they will achieve later. That's my point of view. Okay, thank you very much. Next, Umu Salsamila, come on, Umu. Umu? Yes, uh, target needs is like target situation and consists of necessities, likes, and wants. And learning, learning needs is what learners need to do in the order system. Okay. Okay. The keyword. Now let me give you more. The first here it is target. Second one it is learning. Davina, your turn, please. The first word it is target. Second word it is learning. Come on. I guess if you already gave a good kind of example, come on. Come on, Davina. Wait a minute, sir. Okay. Mm, target and learn. Okay. Let's kind. Come on. Okay, let's go with Juliana then. You'll be the last. Come on, Juliana. Julia, sir. Juliana. Oh, yeah, Julia. <laughs> Come on. Uh, about target needs. Yep. Uh, I think it's like what the learners to know in order to function in the target situation and about what the learners know already uh what the learners need to know because i think target needs makes make sure the course contains relevant and useful thing in teaching and learning okay you're quoting also from McAllister opinion thank you very much yeah okay uh now let's have a look at here the analysis of target needs can look at the first yeah so the first here is target needs yeah in target needs we get three points the first here is necessities and then second one here is lack and then last one here is one okay and then in necessities one more time still focus on target needs okay everyone we are still discussing about target needs in target needs here the first here is necessity what is necessary in the learner's use of language? Yeah. So what is it? The important thing, that the learner use of language. What is it? The necessary of it. Yeah. For example, do the learners have to write answer to exam questions? That will be the example. Or do the learners have to do an oral kind of answer during the exam? Yeah. That will be the example of necessities, yeah? And then, uh, lack, yeah? What do learners lack? For example, are there aspect of writing that were not practiced in their previous learning, L1 and then L2, yeah? And then last one, one here, what do the learner wish to learn? So this will be, yeah? The analysis of target needs, necessities, lacks, and then also wants. From these three main points, now can you give a better kind of a better kind of comprehension about target needs? Target needs here, it is match with the necessary. It is match also with the lack. It is match. What is it? Also with one itself. Yeah. And then other way to look at needs is to make a major division between present knowledge and then required knowledge and objective needs and then subjective needs. Yeah. Present knowledge, yeah, what you really comprehend. Yeah. Required knowledge. What is it that the knowledge that you have to know together new 
knowledge, to collect, to comprehend new knowledge. That's the required knowledge. And then objective needs and then subjective needs, it will be based on what is it your guys' goals, expectations yeah, in learning a language. Subjective needs, yeah, it is referred to like the example that I gave earlier, Julia Vermata, uh, her, what is it? Her intentions in mastering English language, yeah, to blah, 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 blah. And then Elmira Bethany, her intention, also different, blah, 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 blah. It, this is a subjective one. Let's yeah, fit into present knowledge. Necessities fit into required knowledge. And then once you fit into subjective needs. And then all of this one, like necessities, and then also once here, yeah, still relevant with the analysis of target needs. Yeah, the target's needs that refer to what the learners needs to do in a target situation. Yeah? What they have to prepare. Yeah? Okay, so they can master every single thing in a language program or in a course. Yeah? And then next one, yeah, next one here, information about objective needs can be gathered by questionnaires. Okay, talking about this one, questionnaire, personal interviews, data collections, gathering exam paper, textbook, analyzing the observations, informal consultation with teachers, and then tests. Yeah, that will be the type, yeah, that will be the type of instrument that you guys can use to collect yeah, the data in making a data analysis. Yeah. Okay. And the next, the outcome of need analysis must be useful for curriculum design. This will be the aim of it. Yeah? The result of need analysis that you are going to use as a basis to make a proper curriculum that relevant, that related with the course or language program. Table 3.2, uh, yeah? uh, table 3.2, so we have table 3.1 and 3.2. Now let's have a look at here, types of needs. Yeah, And this will be more clear, I guess. Types of needs here, uh, objective needs, subjective needs, yeah, and then also question for focusing the needs. Goals here, the questions, yeah, types of information in the answer, language, yeah, what will be the course be used for? How proficient does the user have to be? Yeah, what communicative activities will be the learners take part in? Where will be the language be used? And a type of information in the answer, yeah, if it is about the language, it will be from sounds, it will be from vocabulary, yeah, it will be from grammatical structure, yeah, functions, phrases, and sentences, and then talks. Yeah, that will be the question for focusing the needs. And then, the last point, the last point of this very focus of need analysis here, it will be about, this will be look at more closely in the chapter on negotiated syllabus. So there will be more or extra explanation about this one when the chapter will explain about negotiated syllabus. Yeah, with the negotiated syllabus, learner negotiate with each other and then with the teacher to determine the content and other aspect of the course. Yeah, so that will be the negotiated syllabus, a flexible kind of syllabus based on the discussions, based on the collaboration of the student and then teacher yeah, in order to find out what will be the best content, what will be the best technique, media method to achieve the target of language learning. Yeah? The finding of need analysis need to be balanced against constraint found in environment analysis, particularly the limitation of time. Need analysis as the third focus in curriculum uh, language design here, it should be also connected with the previous environment analysis. Yeah? Need analysis, you focus to several things that really uh, need to consider by the teacher, yeah? by the educator. Yeah? 
consists of all details content, consists of all details media, consists of all the strategy uh, approach and then blah, 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 to support, uh, to support and then build a proper or the best kind of language program or course for the students. Yeah, it's still connected with the previous environment analysis. Okay, and then from uh, the focuses, the focuses on various, various focus of needs here, you guys can uh, recognize several names, several terms yeah, about needs. We got target needs, we got learning needs, we got subjective needs, we got objective needs, and there are many things. And then you can this you can differentiate that one based on the aim of each needs itself. Yeah, learning needs, yeah, learning needs. So it is the aim of the learning itself. Yeah, and then what about the target needs? What is the target that you are going to achieve of it? And then subjective needs, and then with the objective needs, it is also the same when you try. Yeah, Hello. Who is that one that's talking? <laughs> okay, that will be the various focuses and need analysis. Yeah? Now let's go with the second. Okay, do you guys have any question? First of all, for this one, the various focuses of need analysis, or that was clear enough? Come on. Do you guys have any question, please? Okay, silence means all good and clear. Or you were too scared, too shy to ask. That will be two kind of uh, probabilities, probabilities, I guess. Yeah? Okay, now let's continue with the next one. Then guys, it is discovering needs. After you guys already found out the focus, various focus in needs, and very many terms refer to needs. Now here we're going to discover the needs. And then discovering the needs, yeah, a clear comprehensive explanation, we can find it on table three. Yeah, 3.3 suggests a real method for discovering needs. So since it is our discovering needs, and then it is our table 3.3, now let's have a look at point three, yeah, 3.3 3 here. Method and example of need analysis. Okay, type of needs, necessities. Yeah, focus here is proficiency, and then a method, self-report, proficiency testing. Two methods that use here, and in the example, level of vocabulary knowledge, and a level of fluency. And the next one, the focus situation of use. Sub-report, observations, analysis, review of previous research, corpus analysis, yeah. This will be method and example of the need analysis. And then it is also the same with lack, wants, yeah. And then from this explanation, yeah, from table 3.3, method and example of need analysis, what is it that you guys can get from this one? And then this will be about discovering needs itself. Come on, what is it? What is it? Come on. Come on. What is corpus analysis? Okay, corpus analysis, yeah, it is related with the function of brain, corpse. Uh, corpus, the function of brain that you're going to analyze based on the function of the brain of these students. Yeah, that's a corpus. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Anyone else would like to uh, give the question? Okay, no questions. It's mean you guys already got all the point here. Yeah. Okay. And then this one from discovering needs. Now let's try to have a read here. Proficiency in column two, yeah, related to the present knowledge and situation of use and involve the study of situation talks, yeah. And then okay, this is the example, the uh, the explanation, I guess. And then discovering needs related also with how you are going to collect the data, 
how that you are going to gather the data. And then gathering the data, collecting the data refers to the tools. Tools refers to the instrument that you're going to use. A common kind of instrument that we use in gathering the data, and the first yeah, it is observations. And of that one, we have an interview. Yeah? And then what we have also in gathering the data after interview, what is it? Yeah, we have also giving a questionnaire for the students. Yeah, and then we have also what is it? Self report, and there are many kind of tools. Yeah, to gather the data to find out the needs. Yeah, and then after we already found out, after we already discovered the needs. Yeah, and then now we go with need analysis tools. Need analysis tools here. Yeah? Yeah, we can uh, we can read by suggest a range of tool for using it in need analysis. Let us look at possible tools in more detail by taking the case of an English for academic purpose course. So the name of the course, the name of the subject here is English for academic purpose. Have you guys take this subject yet? No, yeah, yeah. So you're going to learn as all in the pre in the next semester, in the future semester, there will be the subject, yeah, uh, called English for academic purpose, English for specific purpose, yeah, and then academic writing. That will be the same. Yeah, the name of the subject, which is preparing learners of English for university study. So the first year is English for academic purpose, and then this course, this language program, here is for university students. And then we will look at necessities like and wants in that order. Yeah? The first thing to look at in, in the demands of the target tax, that is what will learners have to do when they do university study? That will be the first question. Yeah. So if it is a question, yeah, and then the student, they're going to answer it, yeah, so we can find out the data, we can find the, what is it, the important kind of elements, so we can find out here what will be the form of the English for Academic Purpose course. Yeah, and the next one, among the things they will have to do is to listen to lecture, take part, yeah, take part in tutorial, write assignment and talks and sit exams. If we take assignment as one example of the things they have to do, we could analyze the kind of language needed to do an assignment as a way of working out what the learners would need to know. Yeah? So we have here several things that the learners, the university, the university student need to do, yeah, in order to get the target, yeah, in order to get the learning achievement. Yeah, we could do this by doing a vocabulary analysis of good assignment using a program like the frequency program or the rank program. Is it necessary to have a large vocabulary to write the good assessment assignment? Yeah, that will be the example of this necessities yeah and then uh now let's have let, let's start to have a look at the legs the legs here an important part needed analysis here involved looking at where learners are at present yeah so what will be your strength what will be your weakness like here refer to your weakness your weakness will be focused on to find out the solution to solve yeah to uh, try to increase, try to improve, try to enhance, for example, your speaking skill, if that will be your uh, lack, okay? How good are the learners at writing assignment now? One way to investigate this, to look at an assignment or two that the learner have just written. The assignment can be analyzed from an information perspective, from a grammar perspective, and then from discourse perspective. So this will be the example how to find out your student lack, the lack of the university students, yeah, the lack of your senior high school students, giving them, yeah, giving them the task, try to ask them to fill out several kind of papers, and then based on their answer, you're going to find out what will be their strength, what will be their weaknesses. Yeah, and then next one. 
The whales, yeah, the whales are investigating legs which have been described above focus on assignment tasks. Yeah, that was the Simon, right? Okay, the Simon that given by the lecturer, given by the teacher, yeah, and then how they're going to fulfill, how they're going to uh, solve the problems, how they're going to fulfill the assignment. Yeah, and then uh, we can have a look at learner score on standardized proficiency tests like the tuple test or the IELTS test can be a very useful source of information, particularly when they provide information about separate aspect of language proficiency, such as writing or speaking. Yeah, so from the result of the test, from the tuple test, from IELTS test, you can also find out the lack, yeah? the weaknesses, yeah, you can measure yourself. Okay, my strength here is on reading. My strength here is on listening. My strength here is on speaking, blah, blah, blah. Based on the score of your tuple, based on the score of yours, uh, on. Because there will be no kind of shitty score, right? There will be no kind of, okay, we can manage the score of the tuple, the score of the aisles. No, it is a formal, a standardized kind of test. Okay? And the last one here is what about the one? Learners have their own views about what they think is useful for them. This, yeah, like the previous example, yeah, Sevilla, Disha, Elmira, Sri, Windy, Julia, Elsa, and then every single of you guys have different kind of useful things. Yeah. Sevilla so may think, okay, grammar, this one is very useful for you when you try to read your novel because your strength, your hobby it is reading a novel. But it is a beside with Elmira Bethany. I hate to read that one, uh, Bethany mentions. I love to speak. So your, uh, your strength, your useful thing based on you, here it is on the speaking aspect of it. Yeah. And then, at the very least, information of this, this is useful in working out whether the learner's views and the need analysis view are the same or not. If they are not the same, then the curriculum designer may need to rethink the result of the need analysis or pursue the learners that there is a more useful view of what they need. Yeah. So we already conducted the need analysis, but based on the result of need analysis, that's not based on our expectations. So we get a rethink of the result of the need analysis. Yeah, and then if we come with our conclusions, okay, I think we need to do another need analysis, new need analysis, yeah, because not match, yeah? it doesn't match with our expectation, with our goals, okay? And the next one, uh, the last paragraph of this explanation here, we can read the times of need analysis can be include need analysis before a course begins. Okay, you have to consider this one. Need analysis can include need analysis before a course begins. So before a course begins mean the preparations. And the next one, need analysis is the initial stage of a course and ongoing needs analysis during the running of the course. If a course is to be repeated with the different learners, then need analysis at the end of a course is useful. Yeah, so making, conducting a need analysis, it is based on what kind of the learners, what kind of the situations, what kind of the teaching that you're going to provide for your students. Yeah, so it is starting with the preparations, preparations of before the learning process, before the language program, before the course. And then we have also what we call by while, while the learning process, while the course, you need to also make the need analysis. And the last one, yeah, last one, you have to do also what we call by an and of course, a yeah, kind of need analysis. Yeah, after completing a course, after completing a language program, yeah, as a good teacher, as a special teacher, you need to know, okay, we already completed here a six-month kind of teaching and learning. 
Now let's have a look at the comprehension of these students. Yeah? And then blah, 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 blah. That will be the last one. And then now uh, evaluating need analysis. Evaluating need analysis, it will be based on the result. The result of need analysis. The finding of need analysis. The finding of need analysis, where we got it, we got the, the result of need analysis here based on the data of observations, based on the data of interview, based on the data of questionnaires, based on the, the data of ranking, and blah, 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 blah. All the tools or the method that we use to get the data, and then we try to put it in need analysis. Yeah, And then there are three, three common things when we try to do an evaluation based on need analysis. First year is really helpful thing. Second one, it is the valid things. And then the practical one, practical need analysis. Yeah. First, really helpful things, valid needs, and the last one, practical needs. But in the last explanations, there will always be a tension between reliable and then valid need analysis and practical need analysis. From the three types here of evaluating need analysis, starting with reliable, valid, and practical, there will be some kind of, what is it, tensions, some kind of arguing thing. Yeah? And then we can, find, we can make the conclusion here, a compromise is necessary, but palliative should always be given priority. So from this three one, yeah, from the reliable, valid, and then uh, practical needs, so you get to consider in making validity here, it is your priority in evaluating the needs analysis. Okay, guys? And the last one, last one, uh, this will be the last topic for this uh, need analysis, issues in need analysis. There are three, yeah, there are three main uh, issue in need analysis. First of all, it is common core and then special language. And then second one, second one here is narrow factors and then white factors. And then last one here is critical need analysis. What does it mean here by common core and then specialist language? Yeah, uh, common core and then specialist language mean here, uh, as the example, yeah, as the example from a vocabulary point of view, next year in Huang, 1995, Sutarsha, 1994, there's evidence to support the idea that learners focus on common core of 2000 words, then focus on general academic common to a wide range of discipline. That's what is it common core. So the students need to focus, yeah, need to focus up to, what is it? 2,000 words, yeah, 2,000 words as a common curve rather than general academic vocabulary, yeah, wide range of disciplines. And then next one, study vocabulary current source that this sequence of goal is sensible and generally gives the best returns for learning effort. If goals are very focused, it is possible to certain each step a little, focusing on around 160, uh, 1060 word families of the common core and then about 650 general academic words. It is likely that there is a similar progression for the grammatical item, yeah, perhaps of those two stages with state one. And then this will be a clear kind of the explanation here, guys. Specialized and then technical appro uh, approximately 1,000 word families. This will be the stage three. Yeah, stage three. And then next one, general academics, stage two. And then common core here, 2,000 words family. That will be the stage one of this common core and then specialized language. And then next one, narrow focus and then white focus. Narrow focus and then white focus detail system of need analysis have been set up to determine precisely what language, a particular language learner with clear needs should learn. Yeah, narrowing, specifying the, what is it? Specifying the focus of the language program or the course. Wide focus, it means we have to add 
more details yeah? and then we have to more uh, deep kind yeah? deep kind of focus yeah? deep kind of focus of all topic that you deliver to your students and then let's have a look at the example here from highland from 2002 find super near focus in a social constructionist theory are going for the importance of successful communications within a specific discourse community such a focus however run the bricks of teaching parole and then not long yeah not long yeah and then that is of note teaching the language system so that learners can be flexible and creative in their language use. If language learner have more than very certain goals for the language learning, it is important that their language learning not only uh, satisfies immediate needs, but also provide the basis for development of control of the wider language system. Yeah, narrow focus and then what focus starting with the small one yeah specific one till the general one and the next one here the last it is critical need analysis points out with some striking example that need analysis is affected by the ideology of those in control of the analysis that is the question they ask the area they investigate and then the conclusion they draw yeah, so that will be critical need analysis. So you gotta consider you have to take attention on what type of the question that you're gonna ask, what kind of area that you are going to investigate, and then what kind of the conclusion that you draw. Yeah, inevitably here influenced by their attitude to change and then this does well. for this reason it is worth considering what range of possible viewpoint when deciding on the purpose of need analysis and then seeking others view on where change could be made that will be critical need analysis and then under explanation also about critical need analysis here every single time that you guys make or conducting a need analysis. So it is not only a single process on it, not, not one time process of need analysis, but you need also a series kind, yeah, a series kind of analysis in doing need analysis. What I mean by a series kind of analysis, first of all, you get it that the data here from observation, we try to make an analysis. Okay, that's not that's not a complete one. You try to make an interview one, gather the data and try to analyze that one, compare it with the result of the uh, observations, yeah? compare it with the result of interview. And then after that one, you try to also make the, what is it? Make the or gather the data using the task. So you try to compare between the task, try to compare it with the uh, interview with the also uh, observations. Okay, so that will be the type of it. And the next one, need analysis make sure that a course will be relevant and then satisfying to the learner. This is such a basic requirement that it is worth giving careful thought to need analysis procedures. The next like them is to run the risk of producing a course that does not meet the needs of its user. So this, I guess, a wise kind of conclusions. Yeah, why did you guys need to do need analysis? Because this need analysis it is a basic requirement. The basic thing, yeah, what you need as your first starting point. Yeah, that is worth giving careful thought to need analysis procedure. So you have to really, really careful in making need analysis. Yeah. Uh, if you try to neglect them, neglect, if you try to avoid making a need analysis, so you are going to have, yeah, you are going to have here a risk making or producing yeah, a process of teaching and learning in a failed, a complete failed kind of classroom. And then that will be a language program or a course that not useful by the users. Yeah, and then the summary of the step here is simply two things. Discover learner needs by considering lack, wants, and necessities or some other framework. Decide what course content and then presentation feature will meet 
this needs. So first summary, yeah, uh, it is about the student lack, about what they want and then about what their necessities. And then the second one here, it is what will be the content, what will be the learning material and then what will be the presentation teacher, the media, how do you are going to deliver that one to the student that meet their needs, that meet their uh, what is it? Their aims, their goal, their goals in learning English language, in joining a language program or a course. Okay, I guess that will be the last point. Yeah, that will be the last point of issues in need analysis. And then now, come on, I'm going to give you guys a chance to post a questions. If you guys have, if you guys have, any question you may post the question now, please. Anyone? Uh, sir, I want to ask about. Okay, Debina, what is it? Common core and specialist language. Uh, there is evidence to support the idea. What's that mean, sir? Okay, can you make it more clearly, please? Because uh, your voice is not too clear. Can you repeat it? What is it? Uh, in there is evidence to support the idea. I still don't get it, the point. In evidence to support, what is it? The idea that the learners should first focus on common core of 2,000 words. Okay. Uh, okay, let me explain it one more time for you. Here, the, the sentence here is, there is evidence to support the idea that the learners should first focus on a common core of 2,000 words. That was your questions, Devina? Yes, sir. Okay. So this example here, based on, what is it? Based on vocabulary point of view, yeah? The point for this example, it is about vocabulary. Yeah, common card, yeah, common card, the main important things yeah, that the learners, yeah, the language learner should master here in the first stage it is 2,000, uh, 2000 words. Yeah? And then this one compared, then focus on a general academic vocabulary common to a wide range of discipline. Yeah? It is better for the language learner to focus on common curve of 2,000 words yeah, then, yeah, then focus on general academic vocabulary common to what range of discipline. Then mixing with any other kind of discipline. Yeah, any other kind of term vocabulary that refer to uh, many disciplines of it. Can you get it? Or are you still confused? Hello, Davina? Yes, uh, sir. Yeah, what is it? What is it, the problem here? Um, I still didn't get the point of the to, itu. Can I use bahasa? Okay, come on, use bahasa. Uh, maksud itu kayak dua ribu kata dibanding fokus on general academic. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use bahasa to answer your question then. Jadi maksudnya ini daripada mempelajari fokus pada ini ya, pada kosakata-kosakata akademi umum ya, antar disiplin ya, maka lebih baik fokus pada 2000 kosakata-kosakata inti yang harus dipelajari dalam suatu program bahasa. Itu intinya. Paham? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, this is my first time using Bahasa, I guess. Yeah. Okay, come on. Uh, anyone else who would like to post the questions? If no, I guess we have... Uh, now it is 12.36. I guess it's time to pray Zuhur. Sepia, all good and clear for you, my dear? Okay, thank you very much. And then, when you're going to register for your ISMA, why it's only Bonita? Dia, why you are registering for Isma? This year, Umu Salsabila, Riha made a dress of you guys. Why? Hi, Nisa Valia. I'm expecting you also to register for Isma. You don't have to, you don't have to join a pre-holiday visiting UK, visiting 
US, visiting London, visiting New York. Six months, come on, that's a one lifetime opportunity, I guess. Yeah. So why you're registering for Isma, Hairunisa, Falia, Devina, Julia Permata, Elmira Bethany, and then the rest of you guys? Why? Umu. Some of your friend told me, sir, they're not registering for the Isma thing because they have no passport with them, sir. That's that's a really <laughs> <laughs> That's a really easy kind of solution, yeah, for the passport thing. Yeah, if you guys pass the selections, yeah, there will be uh guidance, there will be a help for you guys to make your guys passport. And that's an easy thing, I guess. As long as you guys pass the selection of Isma, that will be uh and then I'm gonna help you out to make your own passport, okay? And then now next question, when you're going to register for ISMA? Julia Permata, come on, when? When? I'm sorry, sir. When you're going to register for ISMA? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you don't have... <laughs> You don't have any coverage to enjoy a free holiday, six months in Korea, meeting all the K-pop things. Hmm? You don't have that coverage with you, Julia. And then one more time, it is a fully funded kind of program. You don't have to spend a single penny with you guys. Yeah? Okay, and then what about Elmira Bethany? Do you have any plan? When are you going to register for ISMA? So, no, I don't have. <laughs> Why? Hmm? Why? Uh, Why, Bethany? Maybe I'm not into it. <laughs> so you don't want to visit? any kind of foreign country or you already... i do want i do want but maybe my skill of english is still very low so i don't okay or maybe you already visited uk yeah you already visited you <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay and then uh, what about sophia when you're going to register with this is my sophia uh, I don't think I have a plan to register with that because I don't have the TEFL score. If you don't have the TUPL score, so you may join the TUPL test. Yeah? <laughs> I, <laughs> I never had before. You, that's why you're going to try it because you're from the department and then you haven't joined any of TUPL tests. That should be strange, I guess. Yeah, that's a weird thing to do, like, dear. Yeah, you're from the news department, and then you never join a tool test. Wow. Yeah, from all of the students from the news department, at least they already joined a tool test ten times this year. Okay, look at this year, the one that got scored six hundred for her tool. Yeah. <laughs> Is it true this year? It is 600. You got the score for your tubal test this year? Is no. Olivia? No? So how much it is your tubal score the last time that you joined tubal test? Hmm? I don't know. I forgot, sir. <laughs> okay. So you're going to join a tubal test again, I guess. And then anyone else would like to, Salma, do you have any courage to join ISMA? Um, I think no. Why? Hmm? Uh, because I'm afraid. <laughs> what are you afraid of? So you 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 you're afraid you're going to stay in London, yeah, meeting uh, Western people, yeah. 
Dia, do you have any plan in register for this month? Yeah, actually, I really want to join, but I still prepare myself to improve my English. Uh, and yeah, and I have to improve my dual score, and I would like to try to, uh, what is it, IELTS test. Okay, my point, will you... <laughs> Register for Ismail or not uh, for this year? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Umu, will you register for this month? No, sir. <laughs> Davina, no. Davina? No, oh, sir. Riham, Riham? Riham? So when, when the deadline, sir? Oh my God, I already the shared of, a complete like information and then now you're asking me when the deadline. Try to find out by yourself, please. Yeah. And then look at Bonita Namira okay, Karya. Okay, uh, she's the one that already registered. And then from your, your senior, it will be Anissa, Clara Clarissa, and then uh, many of your seniors are going to register with that one. And then the happy, the happy thing, so this is my here, it is not, yeah, there will be no limited quota. Yeah? So it means all these students that pass the selections, yeah, pass the interview kind of test yeah, with, the, uh, with the interviewers, they can join this is my thing. So from our university, uh, for example, we have 30 students and then all the 30 students pass the selections. So all of them are gonna go abroad. Yeah? And then if uh, 20 students, so all of them are gonna go abroad, get these scholarships, yeah? That's why I really expect you guys to join this ISMA program, yeah? And then if you guys try to ask your senior, uh, since we are going to have, what is it? Since we are going to have no more, no more pandemic uh, in the next future, when you guys are gonna join the internship, when you guys will join the community service, KKN PLP, there will be no policy from our English department that will make you guys here yeah, can do the two program in Indonesia. So you're going to do internship, Felpe, you're going to do community service, Kakayan, abroad. Yeah? So that's why this will be your guys' uh, chance to get the experience. Yeah? Just try to register first and then try to get the experience from uh, fulfilling all the document and, and then also joining the interview and then that will be a process kind of uh, experience. Okay guys, and then Bonita Namira Karyadi, Bonita, hello. Bonita, okay, anyone else would like to be with you to join ISMA? I I don't I don't think so. Nilan, Nilan, what about Nilan? Nilan, will you register for the smart thing, Nilan? I'm not ready for that, Mister. And maybe my parents won't allow me to. <laughs> and then for your information, this not will be in this semester. You're going to go abroad. It is on the next semester, not in the short period of time, yeah? It is on the next semester, not this semester. Because the selection process till the announcement of the awardee, it will be on the next semester. Okay, and uh, let me remind you guys, this will be our final meeting before, what is it, before? before the quiz next week. And then the next week, I have some kind of, what is it, habit. 
uh, if it is our first time of fasting, so there will be no class when we have the first, uh, the first time of our fasting. Yeah. And don't forget to fulfill. Don't forget to fill your guys' attendance list. Yeah. And then I'm not joking about that one. Yeah. Your attendance list will be based on your guys' name on every single meeting that I uploaded to the channel. Okay, guys. So, dear family, try to check all of your meetings. All of your talent list, windy, umusal sabila, and address of you guys. Okay, because uh, last time I checked that one, it is only 16 students, 18 students. So, okay, it seems like you don't care about the talent list, but I really care. I do care about that one. Yeah? At least I can see who's the one that joining my class and then who's the one that give an active kind of interactions while the teaching and learning process. Yeah, and then I'm gonna consider who's also the one that following the rule. Okay, guys. Okay, that's enough, I guess, for our today's sessions, for our today's meeting. And then it should be one hour, and then it's nearly two hour, I guess. Yeah. Thank you very much one more time for joining our today's sessions. Thank you, Harunisa. Oh yeah, Falia, will you join this Martin? <laughs> Falia. Yeah, I, uh, I will. Uh, I will. I will check the information first. I haven't checked my 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 that for that. Oh my god! Uh, uh, I already share a complete kind of information. I guess yeah, but it's my thing with your website and then also the uh, requirement. Yeah, okay. I really expect you, Nisa Falia, and then Bonita Namira Karyadi from class of twenty twenty. And then next semester, all of your friends here, they're taking the subject in their class in our campus. And then Hayrub Nisa Falia taking class in UK, and Bonita Namira Karyadi taking class in US. Can you imagine how proud we are? Yeah? Okay. Uh, thank you very much one more time, Hermisa Falia, Julia Permata, Elmira, Bethany, Destiara, Disha, Olivia, Riham, Salma, Nafisa. Look at that one. We are going to end our session, and then Muhammad Rizki Aziz Aziz appear. Yeah, Sevia Herul Shahdan, uh, Elsa Sri Kurniati, Umu Salsabila. Okay, I hope you're gonna uh, still find Umu and then Windy Cynthia, Dia Farlin, Daifina, Azahara Putri, Ameliana, Ananda Fauzia. There we go, you turn your camera on. Thank you very much, Ananda. Uh, Nilanda Cahaya Saputri, I hope you're gonna uh, get well soon, my dear Nilan, and then also my dear Bonita Namira Karyadi. And the last one, the one that came on. <laughs> Turning off his or her camera it is Andin Adewian. Congratulations for you, Andin. Thank you very much, sir. I'm so sorry because I um, cannot speak up to you because my computer is not kind of network after until I have to change to Pon Mobile. I'm so sorry because my mistake. Okay, all good then. Best of luck for Kevin hiding, for Kevin silent. Yeah, without any voice at all. Okay, let's close our session today, guys. We're reciting Hamdala together. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Yeah, and uh, say hi to Aziz, everyone. Come on, hi Aziz. Hello, see ya next week. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you guys.